Welcome to the Zahner Thales software demo. This is the starting screen of the software showing us the different applications that are available. Electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, uh, linear current voltage sweeps, cyclic voltammetry, polarization scans, and multi-cell um, I over E. We have capacitance, measurement and analysis, electrochemical noise, polarography, FRA, where we can run the, uh, the frequency response analyzer with a third party item. Signal acquisition is set up and display for our time domain data input channels, and this allows us to define experiments such as programmable voltage and current for arbitrary waveform generation. Tommy is not implemented in this software. Pulse is just what you'd expect. We can uh, set up high current pulses uh, for fuel cell testing. And then we have transient recorders that will capture the, the high transient, high frequency transients. Here we'll start the EIS screen. Uh, the screen down here in the bottom left shows the, uh, the setup parameters for the sweep. It's uh, lower limit, starting point, upper limit. And then we can show how many steps per decade above and below. 66 hertz is the cutoff, with number of measurement periods above and below. Uh, signal acquisition allows us to use the plug-in modules into the uh, Zoner Zinium mainframe, for example, showing degrees C or voltage. Here we can also go to control potentiostat, and that will access the potentiostat setup, where we can be in PSTAT or GSTAT mode. We can set a DC voltage. Uh, we can set a DC, uh, AC frequency to start, AC amplitude how many integrations before we'll actually take a measurement. We can turn our potential set on, and then we can choose to display either impedance uh, magnitude and phase, real and imaginary impedance, admittance, and then we have RLC values in Q as well. This is interesting. We can click check cell connections, and that will give us a schema showing us of how the input should be arranged given a two electrode, no buffer, Two electrode with buffer. The buffer is an external piece of hardware that allows you to condition the signal. Three electrode, no buffer. Three electrode with buffer. Four electrode, no buffer. You can see the uh, working in sense reference counter. And then four electrode with the buffer amp using the Pro I, Pro V inputs. So we'll escape from that. We can also establish uh, which reference electrode we're using, either user-defined or any of the silver superchloride, calomel, mercury sulfate, and so on and so forth. So we'll just leave that, go back here, go back to our main screen, and we're ready to go. So we'll click Start Recording, and then we'll have the starting frequency. We'll sweep up, and then we'll sweep down. You can see we have real-time displays here. We have power spectrum density here showing a very clean fundamental and then we have the fundamental waveforms being shown here AC current, AC voltage. You see the y-axis auto scales as we're acquiring data. At the end of the scan we're given a choice to see the data. We can go into an active crosshair mode and as we move the crosshairs these numbers will update in real time. Escape from there. We can go to hard copy printout we can export the drawing to a CAD function. We can export an ASCII list. Uh, we can import an ASCII list. And we can also select the type of curves or display modes. Well, here we can click Save Measurement. It will save the measurement and the settings. So when you write a script, for example, all you have to do is recall a data file, and all of the settings will come back with that data file. And that's the EIS data acquisition. This is the simulation, uh, the equivalent circuit fitting and modeling uh, module that's included with every software package. We can acquire data. We can uh, acquire model data, however. We just go out and open a, uh, a model. So we'll just say, um, well, we won't get into that right now. Uh, and then we can fit the data. We can do a single fit or series fits. Uh, this is the, um, the Z-HIT, or the Kramer's Chronic uh, algorithm allows us to uh, ensure the data is linear. Uh, analyze, measure series. We can acquire data as a series and then measure it as, analyze it as a series. 
transfer function series. So we'll escape from there, and that'll be the end of this demo. Thank you very much.